Hey, I'm Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. You know, we are seeing a lot of rainbows since moving to the great state of Virginia. Is it a conspiracy? No, not at all, probably not. At least, I don't think so. More on rainbows in just a moment. I'm learning a great deal about the great state of Virginia, and why shouldn't I? It's our new home. Virginia is known for a lot of cool facts, like it's the birthplace of George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, and a bunch of other presidents. The first English settlement was in Jamestown, Virginia, and the largest bridge tunnel network is also in Virginia. You know, I made a crazy facts video about my new home state that you can watch by clicking the link in the top right hand corner of your screen, unless you want to talk about rainbows, in which case I'd say put. What I didn't know until I moved here is that Virginia is also known for its sunrises and sunsets. I've even made some videos about that too. Carolyn and I have noticed something else amazing about the great state of Virginia, rainbows. We've seen more rainbows in the past six months than I think we've seen in the past 10 years. A rainbow even made a cameo appearance in a video I made back in December. By celebrating that awesome rainbow right back there. Is that not the coolest rainbow ever? Then this happened on the way home from making another video just a few days ago. And that was it. I had to figure out why we were seeing so many rainbows. Was it chemtrails? Probably not, even though that would make for a much better video. Regardless, I started searching, reading, and trying to get to the bottom of this rainbow mystery. And I learned a lot of information about rainbows, including why Carolyn and I might be seeing more here in Virginia. Before we get started, in case you were wondering, no, I'm not a scientist. Not after that mysterious time traveling incident on the Blue Ridge Parkway with the windmill. I can't comment on that at this time, but it was the windmill's fault. Second, I I found all of this information the same way you would find this information. It's just that I made a video with the information I found and I made it just for you. So you're welcome. Finally, there's a lot more to rainbows than what I'm including in this video because, well, science. I've left links just like breadcrumbs to a wealth of information in the description. Some of the links are better than others. In fact, some aren't even real links, but it's unlikely you'll check. If you are so inclined to check the description, you can sail deep in the waters of the internet to learn more and more about rainbows until your heart is full of joy. So let's just jump into it. Oh, wait, somebody already says that. Um, let's get started. There are seven colors of the rainbow, but not really. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Some people remember the colors of the rainbow this way. Roy Gabiv. Not to be confused with Belle Biv DeVoe. Now you know. I guess if I had to remember the colors of the rainbow, Roy Gabiv would work, but I don't, so yep, it's gone. But Roy Gabiv is misleading because you can't really distinguish blue from indigo or orange from yellow in a color spectrum. Now, come on, you knew that. I'm just pitching softballs here. In 1665, Sir Isaac Newton Newton passed white light through a prism and wanted the colors he observed to correspond to a musical scale, which would have been really cool outside the fact that it really didn't work. But Newton's observations did show that white light is actually a mixture of other colors. My intro is starting to make more sense now, isn't it? Rainbows are made when light strikes water droplets at a precise angle, 42 degrees, which was going to be the name of my rock band two years ago. This means that for typical rainbows, you're not likely to see them at noon because the sun is higher than 42 degrees at noon. Aha! And no, not the 1980s pop band. I so wish I could use copyrighted music on this channel. No, aha, it's starting to make sense as to why Carolyn and I see more rainbows here in Virginia. Maybe. Again, I'm no scientist, but you're not either, so don't judge me. You're more likely to see rainbows in the mornings and evenings, and given Virginia's weather patterns, at least in my part of the state, you're more likely to see rainbows. But there's a problem with this logic, and I'll explain that in a minute. Seeing a rainbow is all about perspective. So let's say someone else is just a few feet away from you looking at the same rainbow. You'll actually be seeing a completely different rainbow. That's because two people never see the same rainbow. In fact, a rainbow doesn't even actually exist. It's not an object at all. It's an optical phenomenon, which is why no two people see the same rainbow. We are in the matrix. Sorry, Dorothy, you're never getting over that rainbow. Rainbows appear to move as you move because they're all about perspective. Ah, insert motivational book, The Noticer. Seriously, it's a fantastic book. It's all about perspective, but it's not about rainbows. So moving on. 
Rainbows are actually full circles. And speaking of circles, remember Google Circles? I made a video about Google Plus Circles. No one watched it. The anti-solar point, or point opposite the sun, is the center of the rainbow circle. Viewers from aircraft can often see these circular rainbows. But when you're standing on the ground, or sitting for that matter, you can only see light reflected by the raindrops above the horizon. Mind blown. But this also means that the sun is behind you when you're seeing a rainbow. I mean, it has to be. Which also means Virginia's beautiful sunrises and sunsets have nothing to do with the abundance of rainbows we're seeing. Explanation denied. Rainbows are mysterious. After all, rainbows are made up of a lot more than what you can actually see, like infrared, ultraviolet, radio waves, x-rays, and even gamma rays. So, moon bows are a thing. That's when light from the moon passes through water droplets. Imagine that. They're rare too. Imagine that even more. Believe it or not, I've seen a moon bow. But not in this video, which is probably why it doesn't have that many views. Stupid moon not showing up when I'm making a video about moon bows. Rainbows aren't exactly rare, at least not where we live. But it turns out that Earth is the only planet in which rainbows can appear. There is no other planet known that has enough liquid water on its surface to produce rain. Before you light me up in the comments, yes, there's a slim chance that one might see a rainbow if visiting one of Saturn's most interesting moons, Titan. But for now, the folks at NASA are just kicking around that idea. On Titan, a rainbow would work much in the same way rainbows work here on Earth, but instead of sunlight striking water droplets at an angle, the sunlight would strike methane at a perfect angle, which isn't likely. So I still don't know why Carolyn and I have been seeing so many rainbows over the past year unless it's a new experimental weapon used by the Unicorn Defense Command, and that's likely. All I know is that rainbows are pretty amazing, just like you're amazing when you subscribe to our channel and click the bell for notifications and tweet this video with all your heart and might. Are you seeing more rainbows these days? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Bill Marion, and this is A Nose for Life. If you have time, check out some of these other videos and binge watch our channel.